Variables Part 3 Data Type Conversion In this lesson, I will show you how to convert between data types, let's say from an int to a string, from a string to an int, from a double to a string, etc. For now, this might not seem very useful for you, but in the future when you work with databases and data you get from users, etc., it might be very useful for you to convert between data types as you sometimes will get, let's say, numbers as a string, and you'll need to convert them to an int to use them and make calculations between them. Uh, I just wanted to show you this before we move on to the next subject. It's a very small topic. Let's begin. We will go to the cheat sheet and copy everything beneath the star that says type conversion. We will paste it here. We will click Ctrl A and then Ctrl I to fix the indentation. And let's start. This line gets a string, which is 5, and it uses integer parse int to convert it into an int. That's it. It converts this string, which is 5, to a number int. Now, here we have an int which is converted to a string using integer to string method. And here we convert a double string, a decimal string, into a double using double dot parse double. Switching between floats and double is much simpler. You just use uh, what is called uh, typecasting. In Java, it's a data type surrounded by a parentheses. It's uh, your way of telling Java this is a float. It's not a double, it's a float. So it converts it into a float. Here it's the same. You have 0 0.7 float because of the F. So we convert it into a double like this. And here we have information inside the long comment. In case you're wondering how to create a long comment, uh, you use a slash star and then star and slash again to close it. So in the first two lines, you have information about the range of floats. It's between this number and this number. And this one is for double. It tells you the mathematical range of uh, the double and float. And the third line we already know. Double is 8 bytes and float is 4 bytes. I already explained when to use what. They both hold decimals, but uh, double is used more for mathematical operations. And let's say when you need something lighter uh, for something like graphics, where you need to save memory, you will use floats. It's less accurate, but uh, you save a lot of uh, data storage. Okay, I want to show you how to do this, but uh, with less letters and less words. The same, same way we did with the system.outprint, I created a class called YTC, which is White Type Converter. YTC is short for Y Type Converter. It has a lot of methods that are also short for longer words. For example, this one is string to int, int to string, double to int, float to int, double to string, string to double. Okay, let me show you how to use it. Let's say we want to do something like this, a string to an int. Let's create a random string that holds a number. Uh, string num s and let's say it will hold the number 22. Now we want this to be an int. int num and we will write ytc y type converter dot sti string to int and let's put uh, yeah 
it already put it there num s so now this string is turned into an int which is inside the variable num we can use ytc because as you can see it's uh, in the same package as main you don't even need to include it at the top okay let's uh, do another one let's create an int and call it i and let's say we call it 99 uh, we want to convert it to a string and let's call it is which is short for i string and we will write ytc dot i t s which is short for into string and let's put uh, i inside the parentheses and it converted uh, this int into a string which is inside the uh, i dot s now this might not seem very useful now but uh, this uh, may come very much handy to you in the future when you write more complex programs it's easy to cover so i covered it now if you have any problems with it or don't understand it or have any questions use the q and a or contact me and that's it for this lesson